everybody, this is Ogreboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2007 movie Eagle vs. Shark. So, this movie is written and directed by Taika Waititi, and co-written by Lauren Horsley, who stars in the movie as our main character, Lily, and it also co-stars Jermaine Clement as, uh, as Jared, and in this movie, Lily is a down-on-her-luck, lonely fast food worker who's kind of an oddball she doesn't really have a lot of friends and stuff and she ends up meeting fellow oddball and uh, lonely dude um, Jared and they form a friendship and stuff and they go to this party that's a dress as your favorite animal party he goes as an eagle she goes as a shark and they become really good friends real quickly and uh, develop a relationship obviously because this is a rom-com and uh, but their their relationship goes pretty well for the most part and everything I, I love how well written their relationship is it's just done really well and everything but it also focuses a lot on uh, Jared's uh, issues and stuff with PTSD and his problems with depression and stuff and he's uh, <clears throat> has a lot of issues from being bullied in high school and wants to get even with his bully and it uh, by the end of the movie he finally gets his chance to go up against his bully is kind of a kind of a cool little ending and stuff but uh, the best stuff about this movie is the relationship between uh, between Lily and Jared they, they just are it's just very, very well written. It has really great dialogue. Um, that's one of the things I love about the movie is the dialogue. It, it, it is so Taika Waititi, like like the way his it, it's his signature style that you see in his other stuff. The way the characters talk and the dialogue is written, you can tell uh, what they were going for with this movie and. It's completely his vision, and that, that's one of the things I love about it is you, you could tell this was a Taika Waititi movie, and this is before he became big or anything either. So uh, it, it, you could tell, you could see his his greatness uh, starting out with this movie. And I will say that uh, Lauren Horsley and Jermaine Clement. Uh, who play our lead characters they work really really well together um, and they have really really great chemistry uh, uh, they're actually now one of my favorite movie couples so next year if I do a top 10 movie couples for Valentine's Day uh, they definitely will make that list because they're, they're just a lot of fun to watch together and like they have both have their issues and stuff but they're both kind of relatable characters and stuff I, I relate especially to some of the stuff that that Jared goes through in this movie I could relate to him a lot but they're socially awkward and stuff and I, I am too so I, I kind of related to these characters and I just I got the, the humor and stuff and this has a lot of dark humor and the signature uh, wacky style that Taika Waititi ha gives to his comedy and stuff and it, it works so well in this movie um, it's just very very well written um, and everything and, and Taika Waititi's directing is great he does such a great job with the uh, for this being his first movie his directing is excellent and his uh, writing is really great too like I said the dialogue is just signature for Taika Waititi that the, the way it's written is just great and I, I love that about this movie and I gotta say that uh, Lauren Horsley helped write the story and I, I wanna say she wrote a lot of her dialogue um, I don't know that she did but I, I'm almost betting she had a big hand in helping create her character and I, I love that um, and everything she she did a good job too um, but this is just a really really good movie that I did not expect to like near as much as I did I had seen it one other time before but when I watched it I was like extremely extremely exhausted from working I had just started working at Burger King at that time 
when I re when I watched it the first time. So I don't even think I saw all of it the first time because I, I slept through it, through half of it. So I didn't even finish it. But I'm glad that I rewatched it because this movie is really great and it it's one of those movies that is now one of my favorite rom-coms and stuff. It, it's just a really, really good movie, and uh, it's got a really good story, great great cast. It's a, it's a smaller scale story, nothing like super big or anything like that, so if you're expecting a ton of action or even like a big thought-provoking story, you're not going to get that, but what you will get is a really, really good uh, rom-com with a lot of heart and some really good humor it's and uh, lovable characters and just a, a really good movie I, I really enjoyed this movie all in all I, I think it was a really fun time and everything so I'll say it's a beautifully crafted indie rom-com that's engaging from start to finish and uh, with the performances and dialogue and story and everything it's one hell of a debut for Taika Waititi. It was excellent. And it's truly a great movie. And it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it. If you're into any of Taika Waititi's movies before this, or if you've seen any of his other movies, this is definitely a good one to watch because you get to see where he started out from and see like how good he is. I, uh, there was not very many directors that start off as good as he does, but as he has. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all of his other movies because aside from Thor Ragnarok uh, the only other movie I had seen before was Jojo Rabbit so I'm really looking forward to visiting his other ones but this was a really great start to his career and it's definitely worth checking out um, so anyway uh, I'd give uh, Eagle vs. Shark it took me a minute to remember the name uh, uh, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's really entertaining. It's a lot of fun, and it's a really good movie. <clears throat> and everything. So, uh, I apologize about my voice. My allergies are kind of acting up. The weather has been kind of crazy these last couple weeks here. It's mostly been hot, but we've had a few days where it was cooler out, and it kind of has got my allergies all messed up. So, I apologize about my voice, but. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have seen Eagle vs. Shark, let me know what you think of it, and have a good day, everybody.